How to use water exercise equipment. If a dull water workout is drowning your fitness goals, this guide will up the fun factor with some floating favorites. You will need a kickboard, a pull float, webbed gloves, scuba fins, a floating belt or a pool noodle, buoy dumbbells, and pool shoes. Step 1. Target your legs and arms separately for a more intense workout by using a kickboard to get a good leg workout and then a pull float to focus on those arms. Rotate your body from side to side as you kick and swim to work your core. Step 2. Increase the water's drag with webbed gloves for your hands and scuba fins for your feet. These will make your muscles work harder and add a real kick to your cardio routine. Step 3. Use a floating belt, or better, a pool noodle to help you keep your head above water so you can spend more time focusing on each exercise rather than worrying about going under. Step 4. Incorporate buoys like foam dumbbells and bars to work your arms. Use the resistance of the water to push the dumbbells down and then resist letting them float back up. Step 5. Protect your feet from a textured pool floor or small rocks in a lake with a pair of water shoes. This will also aid your balance and traction when you work out. Water shoes will weigh your legs down, keeping your body vertical as well as increasing the drag as you kick. Step 6. Practice correct form as you use your exercise equipment and monitor your exertion level as you work out. With a little practice, you'll be able to elevate your routine to the next level. Did you know? While early diesel-powered submarines could stay submerged for only a few days, today's nuclear-powered submarines can stay underwater for months at a time.